Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to solve equations with fractions, but we are going to use the Kung Fu fractions technique with the lowest common denominator. In other words, we are going to clear fractions with that lowest common denominator. Now let's get started, but before we do, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to solve some equations with fractions? Oh, you think this is fun, huh? All right, let's get started right there. 4 thirds x equals 7 halves. Well, we are going to solve a bunch of equations here. So what I recommend you do is once an equation comes up, hit pause and start working out the problem. And once you get an answer, hit play and then see if your answer was correct. Okay, Charlie, let's get started right here. 4 thirds x equals 7 halves. Well, we're going to use the lowest common denominator to clear our fractions. Notice we have two fractions. Their denominators are 3 and 2. Now, what's the lowest common denominator for a 3 and a 2? It's a 6, because 6 is the smallest number that a 3 and a 2 divide evenly into. Well, what do we do with that lowest common denominator? We're going to multiply both sides of our equation with that LCD. So here it is. And now we know those denominators will divide evenly into that 6, because the 6 is the LCD. So watch what happens here. We have 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, but don't forget it's 8x. On the right hand side, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 7 is 21. Now to isolate the variable term, we divide both sides by 8, and 8 divided by 8 is 1, so that gives you the 1x on the left hand side, and the right hand side is 21 over 8, and that is your solution. Okay, let's go to this next one. 3 halves x equals 5 thirds plus 5 6. Let's look for the LCD of all three of these fractions, a 2, a 3, and a 6. And the lowest common denominator in this case is, in fact, 6. That's the smallest number that all those denominators divide evenly into. What are we going to do? We're going to take that LCD and we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by 6. But don't forget, on the right-hand side, we have a sum. So we have to apply the distributive property. In other words, every term has to be multiplied by 6. So here we have it. Now, let's kung fu those fractions. All right, Charlie, do the first one for us. 6 by 2 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Very nice there, Charlie, so that gives us 9x. OK, how about the next one? 6 by 3 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10. Very nice there, Charlie. OK, bring us home. 6 by 6 is 1, 5. Very nice there, Charlie. OK, 9x equals 10 plus 5. Now notice, on the right-hand side, we have to combine like terms. 10 plus 5 is 15. There we go. Now, to isolate the variable term, since it's 9 times x, we need to divide out that 9. So we divide both sides by 9. 9's cancel, leaving you with 1. Now, on the right-hand side, 15 and 9 have a common factor. They're both divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 15 over 9 becomes 5 thirds. And we'll write our answer over here. x equals 5 thirds, and there is our final answer there. Okay, let's try another one. Don't get scared. Here we go. We're going to use the LCD. Now, we have three fractions. We have 3 fourths, 5 thirds, plus 5 sixths. We've got to find the LCD. And remember our trick. Start with the largest denominator, which is 6, and then check multiples of that number. So since 6 is our largest denominator, we ask ourselves, does that work? Do all those numbers divide evenly into 6? 4 doesn't. So let's try 6 plus 6, which is 12. Does 12 work? Yes. All those numbers divide evenly into the 12. So our LCD is, in fact, 12. Now, what do we do? We multiply both sides of our equation by 12. But don't forget, we have to apply the distributive property to the right-hand side of that equation. Basically, all three terms on the right-hand side have to get multiplied by that LCD. So here we have it. All of our fractions are going to be cleared out. They're going to be kung fu, right? Because we're using the LCD. All right, Charlie, now, what's 12 times 3 fourths? 12 by 4 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Very nice there, Charlie, that's 9x, OK. Now, how about 12 times 5 thirds, Charlie? 12 by 3 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, how about 12 times 5 6? 12 by 6 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10. Very nice there, Charlie, OK. Bring us home, what's 12 times 4? 48. Very nice there, Charlie. It is 48. All right, now our fractions are kung fu Now let's solve our equation. Notice on the right-hand side, we have like terms. So we have to perform 20 plus 10 plus 48, 
and that gives us 78 on the right hand side. Now we have 9x equals 78. We have 9 times x. To get rid of that 9, since it's being multiplied to the x, we have to divide by 9, right? But don't forget, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same to the other side. All right, so the 9's cancel, leaving you with 1x, and we'll write our answer over there, 78 over 9. And does 78 and 9 have a common factor? Well, remember our divisibility rule for 3? 78, if you add the two digits together, 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is divisible by 3. That means 78 has to be divisible by 3. So if you perform the division, you will find that 78 divided by 3 is 26. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And so x equals 26 over 3. That's our answer. And that completes solving equations part 2. We'll see you again soon.